Hello everybody and welcome to Friday Night Stand Firm. I'm Jim McMahon and with me is Gorilla Metzel. Hello, 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 Jims. It is Friday night, and yes, it's been a long week, but we are all standing firm right now as we get ready. Oh, that sounded sexual. Ready for the weekend. <laughs> <laughs> and we are here in East Rutherford, New Jersey, an absolute shithole. <laughs> but we're going to have to go backstage first because it looks like the bookers are trying to catch lightning in a bottle for a second time. And they have put Jaws' backstage against Skirometso, the greatest backstage brawl competitor of all time. Hands down, two <laughs> fingers up. There he is, and he's ready to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Jaws. Jaws has been uh, doing a little bit of chin wagon recently, complaining about getting, uh, getting pushed and pushed and pushed off all the cards. Well, he's pushed back onto this one. Hasn't quite made it to the ring. But well, we'll see what he can do backstage against Skirmetsu. Yeah, Jawsus is, of course, a claw competitor, but he's irate with no, oh. not getting the opportunities. And look look <laughs> at this. Starting off dirty, doesn't even wait for them to make eye contact for this scheduled backstage <laughs> brawl. And Skuro recovering and letting him know that was poor form. And now Glorious. he's going to punch the air no, viciously. Until I'm victorious. And <laughs> that ball defend. dome just bouncing off defend. the concrete there. But look at Wives the, uh, the, the, the height advantage that Jaws has had. He can basically also reach out with his free guard and purple. stop the smaller Some little cannonball thing. <laughs> that is Skurametsu. <laughs> <laughs> that was that was great commentary, Gorilla, as talked over a little bit by the text to speech lady. Yeah. But Nah, whatever. It's only <laughs> Frost Lord. He can fuck himself. <laughs> well, I was more sad for your great commentary. Yeah. <laughs> but thank you very much, Frost Lord, for staying fantastic Glorious. for seven months. Oh, God, no, McNaughton I as won't well. give yeah. in until I'm victorious. <laughs> and I will defend. I will defend. Roses are red, violets are blue. Jimmy Fantastic at driving doesn't have a clue. Roses are red, violets are blue. Skurros a cunt, so shut up, you twat. <laughs> that D I D N T rhyme. Skurros. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, that's the IP for us, not you, really. Uh, yeah. Spoken just like the great Scottish poet Yeats or Keats, whichever one of those was from Scotland. <laughs> oh, look, Dean Albert Robert Burns. just sat there like a twat. What's he doing in our backstage area? Um. Right, thank you very much, McNaughton, for staying fantastic. You're in the not in the main event, but you're nearly in the main event, McNaughton, uh, against Tony. Thank you very much for staying fantastic for two full beaver pregnancies and Frosty, nearly two full beaver pregnancies. Thank you very much, and uh, both of you. And yes, this is guy in purple, frustrated with his with his uh, his lot on Raw. He's come here to beat up Gorilla Metzo's golden boy, Skuro Metzo. Hey, I, I don't think I've had much uh, much account for uh, Colin Skurrow, anything uh, other than what he is, and that's the greatest backstage brawler of all time. He delivering delivering us such amazing backstage brawls as Skurrometso versus the Golden Pagor, the legendary JFW match. <laughs> and here he is again against Jaws's. Can Jaws's recover from this onslaught out in the parking area and move on to victory? A victory here would surely be a sign of things to come for Jawsus, but who knows, Skuro is in his realm. The only place Skuro more dominant than backstage is in the ring against Jimmy Fantastic with a mic in each hand. <laughs> Glad you finished that sentence, otherwise you would have been so wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I, I feel like my statement was 100% accurate, Jim. <laughs> yeah. Now, Skuro is a little bit of a disadvantage backstage. Does not have the pop-up powerbomb to, 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 to rely on here, um, to my knowledge. I don't think he has a way of pulling it off. That yeah, could come into play. So. Jaws with that uh, beautiful Olympic slam on the pavement. Could be a knockout move. <laughs> All of him bound. Skiro meant to, oh god look oh, at that look at that place. big German onto the pavement there Skiro in some trouble recovers quickly though big punches and now what's he got for the tall man 
Skuro somehow brushes that off as if it was nothing. <laughs> Imagine getting I German mean, suplexed on a concrete. <laughs> oh dear. What's he doing? He's dragging him around, tosses him off. Look, Skuro's just that kind of competitor. He might not have the most even win rate in the JFW, but he does everything right, doesn't hit the PEDs doesn't have the reprogrammed EAB, doesn't steal spots, and doesn't have the upper management guiding his every maneuver. Uh, but so what he yeah, does excel at gonna see is him tossing struggle, guys off And he's stage. going to talk right over Jim's here, not making any sense <laughs> whatsoever. And he's just going to keep talking and shouting into his mic because he is a, a truly glorious competitor in the JFW as he bounces that ball <laughs> dome right back up the concrete and takes the fight right back to Jaws's. And look at that, looking for, looking for the pop-up powerbomb, forgetting there's no ropes backstage. And Skuro now standing tall, but does he have a way to finish off Jaws's? The last time he was backstage, we see, we had to see him resort to a vicious single knee stomp <laughs> for the win. Will he go back to that maneuver against this legless, or this leg, leggy, legend that is King Jazus. <laughs> oh dear, try not to get burned out for the rest of the show, Gorilla Metro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just calling the matches like I see them. If we have anything half as good as this, I'll be shot. <laughs> the cheeky self-rock button for Jazus yeah. there, apparently he's okay. Oh, no, that was more of a half self-rock button. He's tossing, uh, he's tossing Skuro around here, isn't he? Yeah, this. sure is. Oh, the triple Germans now. <laughs> Can Skuro finish this man off? <laughs> <laughs> he's no stranger to finishing men off backstage. Oh, no! Look at this! <laughs> Jaws just takes him down, and it looks like Skuro may be helping put over the struggling career of Jaws's. Congratulations, Skuro. You put on a hell of a show. You did the right thing for the young talent. That's not something you see from the top tier guys. An unselfish <laughs> maneuver in his oh, match wow. against Jaws's. Incredible stuff. Well, you say that, but I think that's... <laughs> <laughs> and now we've got WR Spenny heading out. Man, whoever booked this show with back-to-back -back appearances that don't involve an in-ring match... Sure might want to take another look at his pacing, but here comes Spenny, and he's got something to say, and I got to wonder if it's anything more than Ba-Ram you. <laughs> well, thanks for putting that my, my idea in my mind. I'm, I've got a feeling that might be all that happened. <laughs> ah, the Welsh wonder himself, W.R. Spenny. Have never heard him on the mic before. Let's get to ringside and see what he has to say. Yes, let's, Gorilla. Hello, boyos. I'm here, like. I've got a lot to say, though, but I've got to say that I'm in the double double F. I'm not in the double double F or the double double E. I'm in the JFW. I just read what was on the fucking screen, didn't I? I'm a bit of a fucking idiot. <laughs> well, I can't help it, boyo. I'm in the fucking JFW, and, uh,. I'm a bad man. <laughs> so, so I tell you what, I'm going to tell somebody face to face. Get your ass out here. I'm fucking imagine that it's in a fence somewhere. <laughs> You're a sheep. Get your ass out here, like. <laughs> and I can kick your ass. Who's he calling out, though, Jim? I don't know. Well, let's see if someone answers then. I bet the fucking prick commentators ask anyone I'm calling out. Well, it's Dave! Dave! <laughs> Come out here, Dave! The twim fat Dave! Twim fat! Twim fat Dave! Come out here! <laughs> That's going about as well as we expect. <laughs> Oh, and look at that. It looks like Dave is answering the call. Here he comes. It is Dave. We've never heard Dave on the mic either. And boy, oh boy, WR Spenny calling his shot. A competitor as fierce and as vicious as Dave. <laughs> 
Dave. That is a uh, lot of meat to try and bite off and chew. What's Dave gonna say? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, my name is Damned Dave, and I am here at your request of you are Spenny, and I just gotta know why you call someone out as exceptional as me, Dave. <laughs> well, for some reason, Dave. For some reason, the bloody powers that be think you're some kind of big shot. Well, you aren't, and I am, and I'm not having it. I'm the fucking Welsh dragon. I'm the leader of the crew. I'm gonna batter you like. Let, let, like what? I wish people say like at the end of sentences, don't they, but? Interesting that you call yourself the leader of the crew. I don't think I have ever once seen you out in this ring with anyone other than someone kicking your own ass, you big ass thick thigh piece of crap. You're calling out Dave. Then you better have something to back it up with, my friend. I have got something to back it up with. As you know, I was a former rugby player. I haven't even bothered to buy a wrestling outfit, as you can tell. <laughs> and here I am. I've got lots to back it up with. Look at my arms. Look at my pecs. Look at my thick thighs. Oh, yes. Bloody lovely I am. And I'm going to kick the shit out of you. I guess I'm out here under false pretenses. I thought you were calling me out for a match, but no, it looks like you've called out Dave to hit on him and get me to look at your weird body. But I think I gotta tell you something, my friend. I don't care which way you swing, but it ain't gonna be with Dave. The only thing you're gonna be able to do is swing those fists at me harmlessly in the ring whenever you want, son. I'm going to fucking take my foot and I'm going to jam it right up your ass like it was a bloody sexy sheep, not a bloody man. I'm not into men. Don't worry about that. You haven't got enough wool for me or enough teeth. Look at that. Your one fucking little tooth. I might punch your tooth out as well, you prick. <laughs> what do you think about that, But Well, I think it's a pretty bold statement to come at me by calling yourself a sheep fucker. <laughs> but that's what you're going to do and I think that's fine by you, but you're in the ring right now with <laughs> Dave. Right, shut up, you fucking twat. No one likes your stupid catchphrase. No one likes your stupid mask. Never knew about you, stupid. You're one bloody tooth. No one bloody cares. And I'm sounding a bit less Welsh now, so I'd better say boyo so everyone knows where I'm from. See you then. <laughs> <laughs> well, fireworks, but and unsurprisingly, Dave wins that mic battle. And it looks like these two have each other in their sights. And that's a match to look forward to in the future. I feel like that lung capacity, baby. <laughs> that was incredible. That was absolutely incredible. Ooh, well, shifting gears, we're finally getting some in-ring action, and it's going to be two top flim-flom cruiserweights, <laughs> Bleeding Hippie versus Antsy. I believe we just had this fight last week, and Bleeding Hippie took round one, if I'm correct. I think we had a call-out from Antsy, didn't we, to Hippie, but I don't know. 
I don't remember anything. I think it's Hippie like I fought somebody show. else. I think Hippie had a match with somebody else, and then Nancy called him out. Uh, okay, yeah, who did Nancy finally lose to? He lost to someone. Uh, GFK. GFK, that's right. That's right. He lost his chance. Yeah, he had a chance to really assert dominance in that division. Yeah, and then he called out He called out Hippie, so it's... Uh... Oh, Nancy beat GFK. All right, look at that, Nancy. Nancy knows what's happening. <laughs> he, but Nancy did lose a match recently, didn't he? No, yeah, so it must, he must have lost to Hippie then. Oh, well. Yeah, I thought he did lose to Hippie. I was ah, two weeks well. ago, right. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. Oh, shit. Good well, round Hippie. two, Nancy looking for some revenge after beating Bleeding Hippie. Or, sorry, after beating GFK, coming back, looking at the other big threat in the Flim Flam Cruiserweight division. And here he comes, Bleeding Hippie. He's always been on a tear. He is the golden seeker. He is the hump, no, the Griffin door disaster. He is bleeding hippie. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know anything about uh, Harry Potter. Well, I, I, he, he probably also doesn't believe that, uh, no, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna go into a turf argument right now over J.K. Rowling. She's a cunt. <laughs> Rowling. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever, Trevor. She's, she she she's canceled and deserves the day, so she didn't fuck herself. <laughs> but here he comes now, Ansi on another tear. The only speed bump he's ever hit stands directly in front of him in the ring. Should be a good one. Fuck, I can't stop doing the Dave voice now. <laughs> Dave! <laughs> there he is. He tried to have the most punchable face in JFW, but he's still second to Baker's. <laughs> <laughs> yep. It's going to be hard to take down Baker's for that role. <laughs> At least he's dressed like a cunt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, we still do not have a firm grasp on what is in store for the Flim Flam Loser title, uh, Flim Flam Loser Way title at SummerSlam. But a match like this could really be the deciding factor. Yeah, just over three weeks away, uh, SummerSlam. Getting, yeah. getting close, second of uh, August is when that's going to yeah, be Yeah, all sorts of stuff gliding, really. Both the Flim Flam Cruiserweight division and the world title division, both really kind of up in the air right now. Yeah. Uh, you know, no no, no direct competition for any of those titles. A lot of, a lot of swirling rumors, though. Uh, on the other end of things, though, we, we we are getting a much clearer picture and might have a definitively clear picture later tonight about the Two Heads Championship as the fucking rats are going to be going up against six feet down under top competitors that have struggled a little bit as late. But if they can get a win over the rats, I think again, a second win over the rats, it's going to be a real hard argument for anyone except maybe dressed for business. Yeah, very interesting. I have a feeling we're going to go into SummerSlam with multiple teams vying for that side of personal. Maybe, yeah. Maybe. And here we go. Ansi taking it to Bleeding Hippie. Uh, we have seen it's a rumor swirling that Bleeding Hippie did actually get LASIK surgery. He's connected on a few of his springboard clotheslines <laughs> in recent weeks. Uh, and really shocking stuff. Uh, not really a maneuver you would have expected him to try and improve on because it's won him so many matches as is. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I'm like, he suffered a horrific injury there, but he's all right. <laughs> yeah, seems okay. Oh, look at that beautiful Hurricane Rana. Mm, lightning bumps. Uh, oh, I thought he was rolling him up for a pin. I yes. didn't think he was going to get too far for that. <laughs> Oof, uh, legs colliding with those steel steps, though. Nancy rushing back into the ring. Nope. Oh, and look at this. Oh, beautiful Nancy. DDT. Really, oh, he's stunned Hippie. He can really lay it on now. Uh, 
He sends him over the ropes. And then, oh, vicious punch. And look at this. Oh, oh no. Whoa. Driving his head off the hardest part of the ring, Jim. What a on maneuver. The, on the DV, DDT to the outside. And Ansi really taking over right now. Hippie doing all he can to get away from that flurry of attacks. Oh, and now, oh, oh he talk. picked a terrible time to celebrate. Oh. Does not seem to have punished him. And see whiffed on the on the punch to a defenseless man. Yep. Yep. Oh, oh God, love that man. suplex though. Under like half Nelson suplex. Yeah, brutal. He's got some moves on it, Hippie. I really like Hippie's moves set. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Cool. <laughs> She's going after him hard, though. No, uh, Squirrel Dude does AJ's group set. Hippie is Cedric uh, Alexander. Yeah. Who's only Ooh, 83, but he's, he's like fantastic record and fantastic moves. This was like at the height of his push, too, I think. Mm. Oh, Ansi in for the quick pin. Only a one count, though. <laughs> Hippie's still in this. Gotta do better than that to take out. The Harry, the hippie pothead. Yep. There he is, look. Ta taunting away, not punished. Oh, the big stinger splash into the corner there. Yeah. Now hippie all fired up. Big jumping clothesline, kips himself up. And now he is in control. It really is. This is looking pretty bad for Ansi. Well, <laughs> Ansi, oh, oh, what a maneuver. Ref real slow on that pin count, though. It was looking bad for him, too. Hippie just did that, nothing. <laughs> yeah, that was a three count by my, by my count, but uh, Ref only counting a light two at best. And now Hippie counters out of the, uh, the kick there. Nope. Oh. But standing drop kick and Ansi still on top here. Literally oh. on top there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, a couple. Oh wow, just teeing off on him right now. Oh man, we might be stuck in a loop, folks. <laughs> this is great. <laughs> <laughs> Poor hippie's chest and stomach. No oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> and he's really taking it to him, folks. What the end this? <laughs> Do not adjust your sets. I believe the ref doesn't know how to. Oh, and there it is. Changes it right up and instantly down. <laughs> no, he just being Should stopped. not have stopped until Hippie's chest caved in. <laughs> Oh man. That that's what happens when you try and wrestle a Mary Sue character. <laughs> yes, and Hippie almost with the three count there off of one move in response. But now Hippie looking to end it here. Lining up for his uh I believe it's a code not a code breaker, it's a backstabber. Yeah. Oh, there it is, right into the small of his back. This is over. Could I think this is over, Jim. Ref again, taking all fucking day on the count. <laughs> and just the two count. This ref needs some coffee. <laughs> oh, yeah, seven movies, seven books, eight movies. Done. They had oh. to milk that last one. Oh, he finds the knees. <laughs> Ooh, big, big count at all again by Hippie. Oh, he's feeling his dick. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't you? And there it is. Getting a good grasp of uh, A weird headlock. <laughs> oh, dear me. Uh, the third one was good. The rest of them were all kind of meh. Oh! Oh! No, and just the two count. 
Oh, and Ansi kips up. He is not having it right now. Oh, he's got him hung up in the ropes, too. This the could be it. In the pin. <laughs> nope, just the two count. Both of them getting these long two counts. I think both sides getting frustrated with the ref. Ansi needs to uh, pile it on. No, well, he's not doing that. Oh, oh no, look at that, though. The standing super kick. That's going to be it. Oh, unbelievable. Two count again. Ansi frustrated, shouting it out to the world. Oh, but now he's just rallying here and just taking it to Hippie. Oh, big kick to the head. Big splash coming, I think. Or a slow walk into the corner. <laughs> Six of one half dozen of the other. Oh, no, the running uh, uh, European uppercut, though. Yeah. And now he's just flying in with right. Oh, look at this. Oh, brutal. Oh, bust hippie open on that weird ass move. This could be it. Yeah. And it is. Wow. Hippie Sun and Antsy evens up their competition. And that is your winner. What a match. It kind of had a little bit of everything. Yeah, really good match. I thought. And congrats to Antsy. Had we not already had a Skurametsu backstage brawl, that would be the match of the night, but what can you do? <laughs> yeah, the highlight was the fucking about 20 double stomps in a row. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, we had, we had a ref with brainworms, we had a, uh, a brainworms loop, we had a rope fuck off. <laughs> Everything you pay for in the JFW. <laughs> oh, yeah. Cool. Some near fall, some crazy like I thought for sure that was over then. Is uh Ansi's moveset Adam Cole? Pardon? Is Ansi's moveset Adam Cole? Yeah, probably. Yeah. I've got no idea to be honest. <laughs> At first I wrote everything down and now I haven't written anything down for so long. <laughs> I've got no idea. Oh, oh it's Gargano. Gargano. Okay. Gargano's probably better in this than Adam Cole, although Adam afterward that probably too much. 2K20, if it worked, Adam Cole was probably basically unstoppable. <laughs> yeah. well, there you go, there's their enemies. Oh, he's, he's number two in the singles championship, I see. Yeah. No, Dave was already on Flicky. No, fucky fuck, it's not time for the most charismatic man in sports entertainment. It's uh, <laughs> it's the most boring man in sports entertainment. <laughs> versus yeah, no, you, the you must have missed Dave coming out earlier. Yeah, but this is, a, this is a pretty good match. We'll see. You know, Adonta Kell is ever frustrated by not getting his title shots uh, for his uh, glorious return to the World Heavyweight Championship. And Flicky Flack coming out of a feud in the tag division seems to have cut bait on Marcel. No surprises there. Uh, <laughs> looking to make a name for himself. And he is a heavyweight. And he's never really sniffed anywhere close to that title. So beating Odonta Kellis, a former champion, would be a great first step. Absolutely. Well said, Gorilla Metzo. Um, Usually is, Jim. Yeah, well, I just wanted to say something other than yep. <laughs> yeah, yep. Yep. Nah, you gotta milk it so we can sell the shirt later. <laughs> okay then. Yep. <laughs> Hello, fun. We'll fun. go on sale with a yep shirt and a. I was there for Skurametsu versus Golden for 2020. That'd <laughs> be <laughs> <laughs> pretty great. No. And yeah, just like I said, mysteries swirling around the uh, world heavyweight title. Tony plays poorly, has not had to do a lot of heavy lifting as of late after Jimmy Fantastic ran his way up the ladder to the uh, Extra Arms Belt Championship instead. That just left uh, Odont and... Uh, Odont and Tony plays poorly to face off, but uh, went, it went Tony's way, and now Odont really kind of mired in mediocrity here and needing to climb out of it if he wants another shot at SummerSlam. Yeah. 
Yep. So for the one thing. <laughs> oh, and here he is. Yep. The most the the, the self-proclaimed <laughs> most charismatic man in sports entertainment. You may think of the. You may think of The Rock when you think that, hear that statement, but here oh, in JFW, we've got this fucking guy. <laughs> Walking out like he's got something in the microwave that he needs to get back to. <laughs> really hyped up for this one, folks. <laughs> Three, two, one, go. Yay, fireworks. <laughs> Yay, fireworks. All right, and now the good part. I will take nothing away from uh, Flicky Flack in the ring. Uh, it's just the uh, walking to the ring and from the ring that sucks. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, he's put on some great matches, and against a top competitor like Adonis Callis, we could be in for a treat. Yeah. Oh. oh. And the big foot to the big face, <laughs> and the big fall, and now a daunt to the big stomp. <laughs> Is it time to fix it? No, I think it's. I think it's. No, it's perfect. It's perfect, Licky. That's exactly yeah, I think what it's you brilliant. Want to do. Yeah. Because it's something for us to talk about that's unique to you. That's far more important. <laughs> Half the guys that come out, we don't have anything to say. Like you, it might not be all positive, but it's something to talk about. And if they're saying your name, it's a good thing. Yeah. Oh, this is the fucking cup ball suplex there. <laughs> oh, baby. <laughs> oh, please. Everyone is everyone's punching bag in the JFW. <laughs> yeah. Oh god, look at this. Oh, big military press. Wow, the power there. <laughs> and uh yeah, Flicky with a bit of a height advantage, but uh otherwise these two pretty similarly built, to be completely honest. One of them resorts to much more power-based attacks, and then uh, you know, Adonta Kellis a little bit more versatile overall. <laughs> yeah. Hello Muppet, hello. Rikes the Volta Mason. Oh, the big knee stomp. We've seen that on matches before, and there's the pin. Will it end this one? No, just the one count. <laughs> Oof, savage. Savage attack. Oh, locking in. Oh, look at that. That is a nasty submission move there. Yeah. But uh, able to power out of it is Flicky Flack. And then, oh, no, he does not get the, the kick in on time. Gets slammed down. I believe that submission's the turtle's bite. <laughs> I mean, yeah, or, what, yeah, fair enough. I was going to say do turtles bite things, but yeah, snapping turtles. Yeah, I suppose. they do. There it is again. The turtle's bite it does nothing with his mouth, but <laughs> it's because okay. it, it's the Batista bite is the name of it. Oh, is it really? Yeah. Okay, I didn't actually know that. Yeah. Oh, big. I just call it the turtle shell because he looks like a turtle shell. Up. Yeah, well. <laughs> it's because he's got, he was trained by Batista, and Batista told him everything in he knows, including the Batista bite. But then he called it the turtle's bite. And the I always bomb. forget that. I always forget that he was actually. I, I thought we just gave him the Adonta bomb. He was still Jericho. Oh no. no. Oh look at this though. The spear set up. He's gonna hit it, and we have seen Odonta Kellis get annihilated by spears in the past. Yeah, That's we how he lost his title. And Flicky Flack no, wasting no time setting up for the Flack Hammer. Oh, counter. no counters out of it though. Oh, a mistake. He might have even had the pinball oh, there. And now, oh, he's the Adonta bomb. Oh, look at this, the Adonta bomb. What a turn of events. <laughs> Unbelievable stuff. Back-to-back -back finishers there and a counter. Oh, oh but this match is going to continue, and here we go. If that's our starting point, we are in for a treat, folks. <laughs> the turtle's head. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. 
turtle Z. Hello, Bezel. Oh god, turtle Z, that's funny. Isn't it? <laughs> Whoa! That was brutal on it, like knee to the head. Yeah. Well, I mean, he's got a big shell on his back. Where else is he going to target from back there? Yeah. I'm oh. trying to rip those claws off. Probably sick of getting hit by him. Doesn't <laughs> look like he's going to succeed, though. Nope. In fact, he's going to get hit more by them. <laughs> yeah. <Yo. laughs> Oh, and, and oh no, and he drives them into the trapezius there. Yeah. Unlike other wrestlers where that's just a massage, this is a legitimate attack by a Jealous with those claws. That's very true, yeah. Maybe we should give everybody claws. <laughs> Maybe not. Maybe <laughs> let's not do that. <laughs> Oof. Big power bomb, but it's no Adonti bomb. No. No, only a one count. <laughs> yeah. Nope, he's oh, going for Flicky, a weapon, a little frustrated, taking a breather outside the ring. This is extreme rules, so they could go for a weapon. Oh, wow. Oh, Ooh, running awesome. power slam. That's, ooh, I thought that was it. <laughs> I did, uh, for a minute I did too, because Flicky clearly winded after, even after that break, and now... Getting stomped on by the turtle. <laughs> Digging those Once again, in. working those over, setting them up for another uh, shoulder submission in the turtle's bite. <laughs> Here we go. Well called. Yeah. Well, you know, I've been around this business for a while, Jim. <laughs> Some people have been around this business for 50 years and still haven't heard the names of moves. <laughs> <laughs> Yep. Oh, kick to the. I was gonna say spine, but it wasn't. Kick to the shell. <laughs> yep. Getting frustrated, flicky flack, I think. He is. Now, maybe thinking about a weapon. He is. What's he gonna grab? A structural, oh, kendo, structural stick. kendo stick. Oh! We're in trouble now, folks. Will the ring hold together as the action heats up? Oh, yeah, wisely sending that back out of the ring <laughs> just to make sure only a one count for his trouble. Hard to get a two count on Adonna Kellis, let alone a three. Yeah. But Flicky trying. Oh, what a big man. lariat. Oh, now, is he going top rope? He sure is. Yes. You don't see this from a Dante Kellis often. Oh, <laughs> big elbow drop. Top rope. Wow, we? Oh, shit. Oh, calling for the Adonta bomb. And this has got to be it now. I think Flippy's in real trouble here. God, he I knows it, Adonta. too. You can see in those eyes. There it is, the Adonta bomb and the pin. Do we have a three count, though? No! No, just the two count. Lucky Black hell? is making everything he can of this moment, trying to get himself up and out of harm's way here. <laughs> oh, but not happening. Uh, That's crazy, isn't it? The, uh... Yeah. The durability well, Flicky, of Flicky. Flicky may be going for another weapon, too. He might need it. got to be quick here. What's he got? It's another structural kid. Oh, no, it's a sledgehammer. Oh! The sledgehammer. He's going to try and crack that shell, Jim, by hitting him in the stomach and then getting rid of it instantly. <laughs> <laughs> wow. And uh, again, paying for his efforts. Not able to get anything to keep a daunting Ellis down. <laughs> oh dear, look at it. He's hitting him with all the moves, like, isn't he? Oh, Dante Kellis. Absolutely. This is brutal. They just can't put him away. Oh, That's big so spine nice. buster now. But a little bit staggered before getting this that big be ball. And it is. 
just wore out Flicky Flack. Couldn't put him away with any one thing. Finally, the Spine Buster just knocks the air out of him, and that's a win for Adontakelis. Pretty good showing by Flicky Flack, though. But Adont is your winner, and uh-oh, we're lingering in the ring here. What do we got going on? Oh, boy. Oh, Adontakelis extends the hand. Oh. Flicky says, no, thank you. Wow. And I, I don't think these two are done, Jim. If you would have, I mean, that's that's not surprising, is it? You would expect a German to value somebody who uh, works hard without any personality. <laughs> but <laughs> but su that? surprising from Flicky Flack. Unbelievable. <laughs> well, I think Flicky Flack is going to be thinking about revenge. But next up, we are finally seeing McNaughton breaking free of his Scotch Milk past. And he's taken his lovely lady Wendy with him as he faces uh, off against the World Stop Heavyweight Champion Tony Clay Forley with better. Johnny Five in his corner. This could be a career-defining moment for McNaughton. He's got to make the most of it, prove that he both deserves his status as Wendy's... Uh, no, no comment. And... Uh, <laughs> And also, uh, really can make a career without Calcium Kaz in his corner. Yeah. Yeah, of course, McNaughton and Calcium both been saying that the one's been holding them back. And now we're about to see if that's the, truly the case or not. Well, McNaughton really uh, turned a lot of heads going, I think, 2-0 and against Calcium. 3-0. 3-0. <laughs> no, but just, you know, salt in the wounds, stole his wife, too. <laughs> Calcium's gotta be gotta be feeling bad about that, but knowing, I mean, what what can he do but run out and get his ass kicked again? I don't think so. I think uh, I think uh, Calcium Kaz is gonna have to go back to the drawing board for his wrestling career. But here is your McNaughton, not world heavyweight champion. <laughs> This is Graham Norton. Seven year old judo. <laughs> oh, dear. Just happy to be looks there, isn't he, McNaughton? Yeah, looks very pleased with himself, absolutely. So happy to be free. <laughs> Not even holding the ropes for Wendy. Not really showing her any level of respect. Doesn't really need to because he's won her in combat apparently. And that is how romance is handled in his homeland of Scotland. <laughs> as best I understand it. <laughs> oh dear me. And just the long history of the Scots taking and taking and taking and abusing the measly English from the north. Continuing with McNaughton stealing poor little Calcium's wife. <laughs> poor little Calcium. <laughs> but here he is, your world heavyweight champion. Pony plays poorly with the unnatural snacker himself and mighty AF manager, Johnny Five. <laughs> Top rope Johnny. Looking thrilled to be there, shaking his head. <laughs> Get pissed off, he can't be playing his little baseball game off the switch. <laughs> Has to come out and earn a paycheck. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> well, where I'm from, McNaughton, that, that, that takes it to a whole different level. <laughs> But hey, but hey, you know, it doesn't matter which uh, which side you're depositing in, I suppose. <laughs> as long as everyone's consenting. Oh, dear me. Oh, dear me. Right here. The world heavyweight champion. What a badass. Hey, maybe don't put your head right back into the chair. And up against the Scottish. Super and McNaughton right in. Oh, they, they lock it up, and McNaughton powers, 
powers J5, J5, uh, <laughs> Tony into the corner, and the ref has to separate the two of them. Oh. Well, you know, I mean, as far as trying to start a singles career goes, trying it against the current world heavyweight champion is a pretty bold maneuver. Uh, I don't know that this is going to work out as well as uh, McNaughton thinks it's going to, but, uh, you know, Tony uh, Tony sometimes decides to take nights off, and we'll see if we're getting uh, give up sometimes, Tony, or the other one who wins. <laughs> Be the one. Not yet, McNaughton. Big match, Tony. Thank you. <laughs> Ugh. Savage, savage stuff. You know, moving him around. Oh, here we go. <laughs> that was pretty oh, good. Oh, throwing him in. Slams that shoulder right into the corner post. <laughs> but uh, standing tall right now, missing with a couple, uh, missing with a couple stomps there. But uh, McNaughton, a pretty good showing early on. Let's see if we can keep up the pace, though. Yeah. Oof. Vicious stomp. Wendy approved. Very of hopeful pin here. Very. <laughs> oh, and an elbow to the skull. That was cool. The people in the in the crowd did the same poses in. That was nice, yeah. wasn't it? Beautiful drop kick. Low chop to the chest, sends him into the corner, and the oh, big running forearm. <laughs> and then the teabag to the shoulder. Yeah, <laughs> nothing like a vicious teabag to the shoulder. Is that? Yeah, absolutely humiliating the champ right now. <laughs> and now stomp at a mud hole. And now Tony in a little bit of trouble again. Another hopeful pin, probably wrecking. Uh, yeah. Wrecking his momentum a little bit there. Yep. Yep, could pay the price for these failed pin attempts, but he's, he is, really is kicking the shit out of Tony at the moment. Yeah, sure is. Oh, he just hurt himself, though, with that move. <laughs> well, well, you know you know what they say about a uh, frenzied Scotsman. <laughs> he's nope. going to hurt himself at some point, too. <laughs> That's what they say. Ancient quote. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like something that was just made up by uh, an American no, stone. No, no, it's an old, old Pictish in inscription from uh, just outside uh, Inverness. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Cormary, Cor Cormary Cairn, that's a place. Coromony, Coromony Cairn. It was written in there, it's like 12,000 years old. <laughs> I already forgot what I said. <laughs> Classic. <laughs> They certainly are good at losing the English. Yeah, they do that every time. <laughs> Here we go. He's calling oh, for the super cup. Yeah, he sure is. Oh, he's oh missed. and Tony ducks out and notes. Oh, the ref, ref running interference on Tony though. <laughs> Interesting development. Here's now the flying Scotsman. Going top rope. Wendy standing there just doing nothing whatsoever. <laughs> Giving J Five a good look at the goods. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, wouldn't you though? <laughs> oh. oh no, in the counter, not Tony. What's that, Dave? Glasgow. Oh. <laughs> 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 nice. oh. and there's the stunner by Tony. Oh, and just like that, get a good look, folks. <laughs> oh no, the kick out! Wow, you've seen a lot of kick outs. I mean, to be fair, he hasn't had a lot of offense, has he, Tony? He hasn't done a lot of damage over the course of the match. Just basically hit that stunner. Yep. Oh, now sent outside. No stranger tossing men off. I know I say that all the time, but it's good, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's, he's gone for a submission well, maneuver on the outside. This is a very traditional Scottish maneuver of doing <laughs> the wrong thing in the wrong place at the wrong time. 
<laughs> Even though Tony gives up sometimes, he's not going to give up on the outside of the well. It's not going to matter if he gives up on the outside of the well. Yeah. <laughs> but bouncing his head off the apron, and now will McNaught have the presence of mind to get one or both of them back into the ring to prevent the count out? Maybe not. We're on seven. Oof. Oh, he sends J5 in and doesn't forget to walk in himself. Good <laughs> job knowing the basics of wrestling. <laughs> yep. He even sends Tony in as well. And now Tony firing himself up a little bit. Can he get something going here? He does have the one oh stunner boy. landed. Ooh, there is an obscured. <laughs> oh, raining a fist down on him. And then, oh, big neck breaker. Oh, boy. This could be the comeback for Tony, but no, McNaughton. McNaughton's no. really all over him, isn't he? Sure is. Again, the, the shoulder tee back. <laughs> oh, and going top rope again. Looking for that elbow drop. I think he might miss if he if he does that. Nope, just thinks better of it. Tony a little bit too close to the corner there. And now <laughs> McNaughton brain wormsing out. We've seen this end matches before. <laughs> <laughs> it is an awesome sound drop. Yeah. Oh dear. Now spread eagling Tony, and now he's up top here. Big superplex coming, I think. Yep. Oh. Yep, sure is. Oh, and Tony right to the middle of the ring. Ken McNaughton recover and get a pin in here. He might go to the top just, rope, mightn't he? Double checking his face paint, giving a little breather, a little stretchy out. <laughs> and now going to work on Tony with that vicious headlock. Oh. Fantastic work. And now oh, no. Tony drained of energy, and now the super kick coming. going to be hard to counter this one, I think. Yeah, I don't think he's countering this. Oh, he does! Oh, he does again! <laughs> Maybe shouldn't have telegraphed it, but does not matter. Oh, no! Oh, dear! Oh, oh dear! May giving him the full-on upskirt. Oh, and dear. then the pile driver and the pin. <laughs> Just the two count. Oh, man, Something to be said it. about stomping your foot to let them know your finisher is coming. <laughs> Tony really taking advantage of the showboating. Yeah. Yeah, it's maybe not the best strategy, is it? Maybe not. Maybe not. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, now, top rope time. Will he hit that elbow drop? Could close it out with this. Oh, no, just... no, goes for the big pile on shades of unseen Walker. <laughs> and now the pinning attempt. This could be it, you know. Oh! No, the two count again. Tony is not going away quietly, but he hasn't really put up any noise either. <laughs> yeah. Just the one stunner to his credit. But here comes oh, big match Tony. This could be it, folks. <laughs> this would be oh. the most Jimmy Fantastic win of all time. <laughs> No, he's no, just a two count. What a battle! <laughs> well, regardless of outcome, McNaughton really making the case that he belongs in the conversation as a singles competitor. Absolutely. Maybe she gets some underwear, though. <laughs> Maybe he should. <laughs> Maybe he fucking should. <laughs> And may, he definitely needs to stop fucking praising himself in the ring at all times. <laughs> hey, he wouldn't be McNaughton if he didn't do that. Yeah, fair enough. Just just manhandling Tony right now. Yeah. Oh, and J5 could get involved here. No. No. No, no. Here we he's, go, I think he's on, his switch. he's on his switch right now. He's hiding it there as it leans over. <laughs> and he lands the elbow drop that time, and now the pin this could is be it. Be it. It is, he beats and the it champ. Is. McNaughton has pinned the <laughs> champ himself. And McNaughton with a clean win over Tony plays poorly. We did get give up sometimes, Tony. Did not put on much of a fight there. 
and uh, <laughs> Calcium Boo McNaughton is here to stay. Singles competitor, stolen wife in his corner. <laughs> And who'd have thunk? Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Wow, I'm, stu I'm stunned, Jim. I am absolutely stunned. Yeah. Can't believe that match. I mean, the way you watch it, you don't expect that Tony would have won that match. But two stunner kickouts and the champ with just a subpar performance in general. Yeah, incredible stuff. What's down the iron, bro? <laughs> <laughs> Here is your winner, Mick and if uh, if McNaughton, can... oh, oh, oh look at this! Here comes Gaussian. He's not done with McNaughton. We thought we thought the winner was <laughs> Wendy. Wendy from behind. <laughs> Wendy from behind takes out Gaussian. Now J Five getting involved. J Five thought about hitting. <laughs> Everyone's piling. God, this is a mess. <laughs> what is happening? What is happening? It's anarchy, folks. It's anarchy. <laughs> and McNaughton runs away from the fight, tail between his legs. Unbelievable stuff. <laughs> I mean, J5 got a little confused there. Probably wasn't paying attention to the match. Might have thought that Tony needed help and ran in. <laughs> but Wendy coming to the aid there, attacking. Wow, just an utter mess to lead us into our main event. Unbelievable. <laughs> uh, well, well, for everything I just said, it looks like Calcium is not going away so quietly. And suddenly, McNaughton, with the win over the champ, has to worry about this previous life that he had with Calcium Kaz and Wendy one more time, at least. Oh, God. <laughs> but, uh, you may say that, Flicky, but I seem to recall watching as McNaughton fled the ring from all of that flurry started by Calcium, and that's all that really matters. We gotta give the guy a break at some point, so in my book, he won that back or end of match attack. <laughs> he did get battered by his own wife. <laughs> Not to call that winning. <laughs> listen, Jim. Listen. We're running a storyline in which Calcium's wife, who he has like 18 children with, has just left him to fuck a Scotsman. <laughs> We can give him a win from time to time. Okay, that was a win for Calcium. <laughs> I agree, Bezel. Scurro backstage brawls always the top, but that is a close second. <laughs> oh, fucking hell, Calcium. <laughs> I think the I win literally was. literally the... didn't know the women could fight the men. No, I, I think the win was the McNaughton didn't pin his wife. <laughs> All right. Well, not to take away from our main event after what we just saw. Here comes six feet down under. They have been a little uneven as of late, but still right up there in the conversation. Oh God, I ate a sour candy and now I can't stop salivating. Uh, yeah. Hang on, I'm just gonna chew this. Oh fuck, it's really sour though. <laughs> yeah, here's the two zombies six feet down under. Yeah, and they're out to wrestle the fucking rats. They have beat them before. Yeah, and as Chunt always says, uh, necros are the are rats' worst matchup. So, it's <laughs> in Blood Bowl, that might be true in wrestling as well. Yeah, well, all that claw against the AV7 really get your money's worth. Yeah, I know. I find it surprising because most of the team's shit, but there you go. They don't like werewolves rather than zombies, to be fair. But then zombies get the foul, don't they? I, 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 I don't know why you think that. <laughs> but that's neither here nor there. What we have to worry about right now are the fucking rats. Your two heads champions and they are here 
been a little bit since they've had their own match, but that's what happens when you got the belt. Sometimes we got to give the airtime to everyone trying to get up there for their title matches, and the and the champs get the night off, but not tonight in your main event of Friday Stand Firm. And if you want to know the story of the fucking rats, it is a it is a long and intense one, and it goes back to the very inception of the JFW. You can find all of their matches and many, many more on YouTube. Just search for Jimmy Fantastic or go to www.jimmyfantastic.com and check out all of your JFW action. And if you want to see Jim concede in a Blood Bowl game in three turns, I'm sure there's a little bit of that too. <laughs> Thanks, Gorilla. Brilliant stuff. <laughs> oh god we need to do an unmasking of finney at some point <laughs> no thank you <laughs> fucking rhino forehead <laughs> i don't think i've ever actually seen him with his mask on oh it's it's bad <laughs> oh no no i did because he used to have that stupid like glowing coat entrance right yeah and yeah so, like yeah. yeah the harlequin colors yeah that's <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Dave McNaughton making friends. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bold move to try and get yourself over as a wife taker. <laughs> but uh, I'm, I will never not say McNaughton's not a bold man. Is bold the word I'm looking for here? <laughs> <laughs> The wife taker. I wonder if you that would have been. You need a title his, to be the champ, my friend. I wonder if the wife taker would have gone like twenty four and zero at WrestleMania. <laughs> <laughs> the wife taker. <laughs> oh god. Oh shit. <laughs> Oh, got some mission maneuver on the outside. Yep, stretch muffler. Oh, but you don't want to put those feet near your face, <laughs> as uh, Nike just learned. <laughs> uh, his wife is, um, I guess, fit by a lot of standard. I mean, she's pretty old now, but uh, it's uh, what's her name? What's her name? Michelle McCool. She's not. She's not old compared McCool. to Undertaker, is she? Uh, I mean, she's not that much younger, is she? No, I think she's pretty like, much, quite a lot younger. She's probably, in her, she's probably in her 40s. She's 40. Yeah. Okay, that's not that bad. Oh, they got caught out! Oh, no! The fucking rats! They use... They, they use the maneuver! Wow, send... Oh, my God, that caught me off guard. The fucking rats sending a message to dress for business with this win saying that's right cunts we know you're at the top we know you're coming for our titles but guess what we saw you lose in this exact capacity and they just pulled it out on six feet down under really unfair against two undead brains that really can't logic this shit out did not expect that to happen wow. but there you go your winners very quickly and very easily the fucking rats. <laughs> yeah, that was a, that was a very. Oh, um, eleven is good. You you should feel very lucky that you did not witness what just happened. The fucking rats taking a page out out of Das Hot for their very quick win on the countout in the exact same fashion that <laughs> dressed for business lost their match. Anyway, that is our main event. Friday, Stan Firm maybe got a little bit limp at the end, but that was one hell of a show. We kicked it off with fireworks backstage as we all expected we would, and it was all great from there until a little bit of a Jim Fizzle right at the end. But thank you so much for having me. As always, Jim, I am Gorilla Mezzo. This has been JFW Stan Firm. Glorious. Thank you very much, as always, Gorilla Metal. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.